Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I had another question in concerning the M50. A lot of people asking, should I buy the M50 over this camera or that camera? And it's understandable because it's Canon's first 4K APS-C offering. Their first, uh, I guess, reasonably value-priced offering, really. Um, Michael's writing in, comments on one of the YouTube videos. Hey Matt, would you consider the M50 4K over the Panasonic G7 4K? And that's a tough question. Um... I'm really liking the M50. As you know, I have it in for review right now, and I think it's a really nice little camera. It's a sexy-looking little camera, too. Um, it does a lot to me that I think would make me say, yes, I think I would consider it over the G7. Uh, the only reason I probably would consider the G7 over the M50 is sheer price, if I could get the G7 for a, um, a better price. The M50 is giving us dual-pixel AF. Granted, in 1080, not in 4K, but you do have the ability to have 4K, and yet don't get dual pixel AF on the G7. So if you want to vlog or you want to do some 1080 using that beautiful dual pixel AF that can follow you around smoothly, you got it. If you want to switch over to 4K, then you just work with out dual pixel AF and grant it a little bit more of a crop factor, but the G7 is a two times crop factor. The M50 is a 2.56 times. I would challenge you and say, I think you can work with it. Um... The G7's probably going to be on par to non-dual pixel AF anyway, so there's, there's no real disadvantage there. And you do gain dual pixel AF with the M50 in 1080. You also get a larger sensor, very nice 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. So the IQ that you're getting for photos and even low light video is going to be better than out of the G7. Uh, frames per second. Probably comparable. I don't even remember what the G7 is shooting at for frames per second. The M50 is obviously at 10 frames per second. Um, but overall, uh, I also really like a lot of the Canon lenses. Not that I don't like the Panasonic ones, but I can, uh, you know, the Canon 50 F1.8 STM is a no-brainer at $125. Um, so I think I would seriously lean towards the M50 there. And I'm almost surprising myself to hear me saying that because I do like the G7 and I love the little G85 I'm filming with right now. However, the M50 is a, a game changer for Canon at a really great price point, and it's a really interesting offering. And Canon's getting serious in the mirrorless game, and glad to see they're offering us 4K now. What would you guys do? Let me throw it back to our viewers. G7, Panasonic, you know I love that camera. I'm a big fan of it. I got the G85 I'm shooting with right now. It's its successor. Um, but the M50 is quite an offering. Uh, which way would you guys go? Do you agree with me? Would you, would you lean M50 or would you lean G7? Is there another option you would go? Let us know in the comments below what you would do and why. Let's help out our viewer, Michael, here. Um, always great to hear from you guys and, you know, maybe throwing in some stuff I hadn't thought of or hadn't uh, mentioned. Um, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.